error, 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 error. People of Earth, we are Dan and Phil, and for the next hour we present some of the biggest stars on the internet. <clears throat> What? This is serious. To take control of your radio. Streamed entirely in video on the Radio 1 website, this is the Internet Takeover. That was Stumble and Fall by Razorlight. You were listening to Zane Lowe, but now you're listening to me. <laughs> Hello, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell. I am a YouTuber and the first of many to be picked by Dan and Phil to host their show. A questionable decision on their behalf, but... I'm gonna let them stick by it. My YouTube channel is Tomscar, or just forward slash Tom, if you're feeling lazy, and I make comedy videos, debatably. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. <laughs> Classic me. Now on the show we have coming up a conversation with Kylie Minogue that totally never happened. We have a crazy game show that I just made up, which is probably gonna get us kicked off the air. And we also have songs and music and jokes and the things that normally come with the radio. But this is my first time on the radio, I feel a bit nervous about it and I even though I'm on Radio 1 I don't feel very famous or high up the ladder I mean for one thing they haven't even given me a chair which is great or any of those cool DJ stings you know like the no 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 Nick Grimshaw stuff which, oh actually I'm being told that I do have those okay let's let's give him a shot Tom Scott T -t -t Tom Scott on Radio 1 Radio 1 Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I feel a little bit more- Bringing you the best tunes. Best uh, tunes. Best tunes. All day long. All right. Yeah, like I said, I feel a bit more legit- On Radio 1. Yeah, no, we're on Radio 1. That's- okay. So- He's funny, he's funky, and he's chunky. Oh. Okay, weight jokes. That's cool. Um, we're on the radio, so I guess that doesn't- 17 stone of pure comedy. <laughs> Okay, so when I when when you guys asked for like my details and you took my weight, I thought I really thought that was gonna be just like health insurance reasons. I didn't think you were gonna put that on air. The fattest beats oh. from the fattest DJ. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's not even true. I'm I mean I'm overweight, but I'm not like the fattest DJ ever. So on radio one. Yep. Really excited to be here. <sighs> Here's All Star by Smash Mouth. That was All Star by Smash Mouth, a song which I would like to dedicate to a girl I used to call Shrek. She didn't look like Shrek or anything, she just really loved Shrek. And Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Now, Dan and Phil have put me in charge of their show for a whole hour, which was a pretty dangerous decision as it is. But they would like to get to know me a little be bit better, so that you can get to know me a little bit better. We can all get to know each other a little bit better with something they have ominously titled... The Intense of You. Ooh. Internet name. My internet name is Tom Scar, which basically is just because my name is Tom and I like Scar. It's not it's not the hardest thing to put together. I really wanted to play a lot of Scar on this show, but they wouldn't let me. Apparently it's uh, not mainstream enough. What? <laughs> it's that's stupid. Real name. My real name is Thomas James Ridgewell. I wish I had an exciting story for that, but I mean it doesn't mean that my initials are TJ, which I'm really glad no kids at school ever figured out because I, I don't think I could live being called TJ. Real name backwards. Oh, my real name backwards? That's, uh... Favorite animal. My favorite animal is kind of a sloth and a bear, but, you know, fused together, and I don't really want to know how exactly that happened, but it's basically just a big bear with claw... It's, it's awesome, man. It's so awesome. Impression of that animal, mating. <laughs> Which is actually, funnily enough, my mating call also. Yeah. What is the opposite of your greatest fear? The opposite uh, to my greatest fear would be mostly just a room full of nothing. No clowns in there at all. That would be an absolutely not terrifying room. What would you be doing with your life if the internet didn't exist? Uh, if I was doing... What would I be doing with my life if the internet didn't exist? I just can't... I don't want to... I don't want to think about that. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Maybe I would be forced to do something like... Like radio, I don't know. <laughs> radio, that's. I would never do that. Ever. Make a noise that describes your channel. <laughs> that, uh, it's kind of laughing and screaming. It's. It's very unique. Would you eat PewDiePie if it gave you all of his subscribers? Would I eat PewDiePie if it gave me all of his subscribers? Well, I don't really. I don't. I, I don't maybe it's. Maybe it's a little bit racist, but I just don't really like eating Swedish people. Uh, if you were French, then I'd definitely consider it, but. 
I mean, a little finger. Like we'll start small and we'll just see where we go. If I think a little finger, a little finger is worth at least a million subscribers with him. So we'll see. Would you rather save a friend from falling down the stairs or film it? I'm gonna definitely have to say that I would film the friend falling down the stairs. You see, broken bones they can heal, but missed opportunities they are scars that linger for your whole life. What is the one thing you'd never vlog? Uh, I don't think I'd ever really want people to know about that time I ate PewDiePie. That's, um, I mean, that's murder, so, yeah. Invent a challenge tag that wouldn't be allowed on YouTube. A challenge tag that wouldn't be allowed on YouTube, something so unheard of, and the integrity challenge, basically, what you'd have to do is not do a challenge video for your whole life, and then when you die, uh, in, you'd win the challenge and you'd have to, you know, tag three other people. I guess you'd have to do that through your will. Uh, so, I mean, if they're still alive, then I think it could really take off. What will your last ever video be about? Uh, my last ever video, I think it's going to be this vlog I have planned. It's called Can I Fly? And I'm going to start at the top of my stairs and we're just going to we're just going to see where it goes. And finally, to save the world, you have to kill Dan or Phil. Who will it be? <laughs> I got Phil. It's it's going to be Phil. I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry. Intensive. Here's OK Go with Here It Goes Again. That was Here It Goes Again by OK Go, a song that was made popular by its crazy, amazing, awesome viral video, which is appropriate because we're going to be doing a whole quiz show later about viral videos. My name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell, and I am hosting Dan and Phil's show for the next hour. Have fun with that. Tomscar on BBC Radio Radio 1. Where's Dan and Phil? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you're stuck with me because Dan and Phil are taking taking a little break, maybe forever, who knows? But they're going to be handing it over to other great YouTubers and good for them. Now, it's kind of weird to me that I'm being given this position of power on this show because I recently discovered that I actually have a terrible, terrible speech impediment, which, I mean, it sounds, it sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but basically it turns out that whenever I ask someone for a drink they seem to they, they they seem to think that i'm asking them for the time which is which is weird and i i know it sounds it sounds dumb but trust me it's like it's awful i'm like hey man can i get a beer and they're like sir it's 8 a.m like <laughs> that's mm, that's really strange so i am a professional comedian or an unprofessional comedian and you can tell because i'm absolutely hilarious watch this i'm gonna tell a comedy joke right now uh, i went to the doctor recently and i said doctor my bladder hurts and he said oh you're in trouble yeah, I got, uh, I got, I got, I got some real problems. But it's very exciting to be here on the radio. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Coming up now is a song by uh, uh, Basti Bastiel. I think. Yeah. Oh no, I'm be I'm being told that's wrong. This is Bastille. That was Bastille. The Streets, a song that they made me play. It's I'm, it's a great song. Don't get me wrong, but they wouldn't let me play any ska songs. Hello, my name is Tom Scar, and I am hosting Radio One, which no one knows why this is happening. It's Tom Scar on BBC Radio One. What a lo -lo -lo loser! Yeah, thanks, thanks, Radio One. I mean, it's, it's really, really, really great to be here. It's an honor. Now they're telling me that I should interact with this audience a little bit more, and I would like to. So, I want to play a game with you guys. Let's let, let's all let's all whistle together. You guys know how to whistle, don't you? You, you put your lips together and, and you and you just blow. You know, it's it's great fun. Can can you all do that for me right now? Put your lips together and just and just get ready to whistle and. Now, just think about how you look. You look so stupid, and that's how you look every time you whistle. How does that make you feel? Here's a song by Bean called Roller Coaster. Not, not Mr. Bean, it's Bean. Roller Coaster. Enjoy. Hello and welcome back. That was Roller Coaster by Bean, not, not Mr. Bean. That would be a very, very different song. Hello, my name is Tom Scar, and I'm hosting Radio 1, and I'm really sorry about that. Welcome back to Tom Scar on BBC Radio 1. Okay, seriously, was that the sound of my head getting cut off by a guillotine? That's not, that's not okay. Don't... <sighs> All right, well, what I thought we'd do now is play a little game with a few callers, because why not? That's fun. Uh, I recommend if you have access to it that you go on to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one, because this game is called What is Happening? Hmm. And the way this game works is I'm going to play the audio from a video I found on YouTube. I'm going to play it to some poor, unfortunate caller, and they have to guess what happens in the video. And if they get it right, they win a free trip to wherever they currently are. So, are we ready to play What Is Happening? Let's do it. Okay, first caller. Who are you? Where are you? 
Hello, I'm Hope, and I'm from Portsmouth. Hello, Hope from Portsmouth. Welcome to my really well-organized radio show. I'm doing a great job. Are you ready to play What's Happening and guess what terrifying video I've found for you to listen to? I don't think I'll ever be ready, but... Good, good. I like it. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Uh, listen to it. Tell me what you think. Okay, Hope... What do you think you just heard? Not quite sure. I mean, I mean, you can hear it again if you if you need to. Uh... Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. One more time. Just. I mean, this is an easy one. Come on. <laughs> okay, Hope. I'm gonna have to press you for an answer. I mean, I, I didn't think this would be so tough, but. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, Hope, it's so clearly a baby seal that's afraid to get in the water. The seal, of course, sounding a lot like Bender from Futurama. That's that's fine. <laughs> See, of course it was a baby seal. It's just so obvious. I'm sorry, Hope. Okay, I'm ready for the next caller. Matt, how you doing? I'm going good, Tom. Hi, Matt. This is definitely the first time we've tried this. I haven't ever gotten it wrong before. So... Oh, no, definitely not. Where are you from, Matt? Uh, I'm from Berkshire. Good! I know where that is. I actually don't. I should never be a radio host because I have very poor knowledge of every single place in England. I'm terrible at this job. Okay, are you ready to guess what I'm about to play for you? Yes, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes. Matt, what did you just hear? Uh, uh, that sounds like the video where the guy is editing himself flying. <gasps> oh my goodness, you got it right the first time. Yes, you are correct. That is a man. I say man. He's not really a man. He is a god among men on a broom, jumping around screaming. There's even a trampoline in there. I love it. Let's listen to it again just because it's so beautiful. <laughs> An inspiration to us all. <sighs> Kills my bones. Thank you so much, Matt. You are amazing. You went a free trip to wherever you already were. Okay, next caller. Alice, are you ready? Hello, I'm ready. Oh my goodness, Alice, I'm so ready. This one is a very tricky one, Alice, so I need you to listen hard and tell me what you're hearing, okay? Okay. Now this one may throw you off, but I believe in you. Okay, Alice, what did you just hear? Well, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not entirely sure. But it sounded like an enthusiastic host of animals, perhaps okay. dogs. Very, cl <laughs> very close. Uh, dogs, not so much, but I'm, I'm going to need to press you for a little bit more of a specific animal. Okay, um, perhaps some sort of monkey or chimp. Okay. 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 Well, that's 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 a nice guess, but I'm afraid you're absolutely wrong, and I'm incredibly ashamed of you. The actual animal was definitely chickens, and you know how I know it's chickens because the girl in the video just—I mean, she knows her animals, and she says the following. Look at all those chickens. Thank you so much, Alice. That was an awful guess. Not monkeys, honestly. Definitely chickens. Tom, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, well, welcome to What Is Happening, a crazy game show I just made up that's already been cancelled where I'm going to play you a clip of a viral video I found on YouTube and you have to tell me what it is that you're hearing. Are you right. ready? No, the other ones were... I have no idea what they were. Well, this one... This one should be a little bit more straightforward. I believe in you. Take a listen. <laughs> well, this is my job. Matt? Tom? What? That's who I'm calling now. Do you have any idea what you just heard? No. Come on, man. I spent hours on the internet finding the best videos out there. I'm going to have to press you. What, what did you just was hear? It, was, it that, was it that dolphin that talked like a person? <laughs> if that's what people sound like to you, then I think you need, well, for one, new friends. I'm afraid you're actually devastatingly wrong, and what that actually was was a lovable, not in any way damaged dog. Just listen to this beautiful, beautiful chihuahua. If that was just too exciting for you, then you're not even going to be able to handle the jazz version I've got coming up on BBC Radio 1. Oh yeah, this is 
Smooth Dog Jazz on BBC Radio 1. You never saw this coming, did you? That song, of course, goes out to all the dogs listening at home who have the radio on so that they think that someone else is at home. Uh, last caller, Summer, how you doing? Hi, I'm good, thanks. I'm really glad. Welcome to my stupid, stupid game show that's only ever going to run for, you know, one episode. Uh, are you ready to play this fantastic game where I'm going to play you a, a sound and you have to guess what video it's from or what's happening in the video? Um, yeah, I'll give it a try. Okay, this one is probably the easiest one. I mean, it's just, it's clear. So, are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was the video. Uh, that's in, in, in its entirety. Uh, can you tell what that was well all i heard was static so no 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 no. no that was definitely definitely the whole video I'm, I'm gonna play it again for you okay i i need you i need you to try hard for this did you did you did you get it what was there to get <sighs> Summer, you've you've let me down clearly that was a video called how to touch wall with apple clearly Unbel yeah. i mean just listen it's an apple touching... I mean... <sighs> Summer, I'm very disappointed. You don't win a free trip to the place you're already at. You have to leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> See you around, Summer. Thank you so much to everyone who just took part of my crazy show called What Is Happening? Which is pretty much the same as what's happening right now. What is happening? You're listening to Tom Scott on BBC Radio 1. I don't agree with his taste in music. I, come on, guys. That... Well, let's have another song. That was Coldplay, and welcome back to Tom Scar on Radio 1. It's T -t -t Tom Scar on Radio 1. You suck! That was going so well. Well, here I am filling in for Brian Blessed, who unfortunately couldn't make it. My name is Tom Scar, and I am one of the many YouTubers that Dan and Phil left their show in the capable hands of before they transcended the realms of mortality and became gods among men. Coming up on the show is a conversation with Kylie Minogue that totally never happened and an assortment of hilarious jokes because when you leave the show in the hands of a comedian, that's what you get. So are you ready for this? Are you ready for the, some of the funniest jokes you've ever heard? Let's do it. Here's a joke about Beyonce. I was at Beyonce's house, right? I had some dinner, but I didn't finish. And I was like, Beyonce, can I have some dessert? You know what she said? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Oh, snap. So Rihanna was hanging out with her grandmother who was, you know, really struggling to remember things. You know, she's getting old and it's it's a bit sad, but you want to know what Rihanna said to her? She said, hey, Nana, what's my name? I'm not proud of being me. And hey, on a finishing note, did you hear about the uh, pop star that started up her own talent agency? <laughs> she called it Nicki Minajment. Oh, someone just kill me. Here's the Jackson 5. That was the Jackson 5, and I am Tom Scar. Tom Scar! <sighs> yeah, okay, guys, that one was just booing. You're not even trying anymore. My name is Tom Scar, and I am taking over this show because Dan and Phil have left us. They've abandoned us, they've abandoned you, and it's mostly just because of your bad body odor. I'm, 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 that's what they said. That, that's what they said. Uh, one time, I worked with Kylie Minogue, and she was amazing, and... She gave me a wonderful gift, and that was five minutes of B-roll of Kylie Minogue just saying random things. And so I decided to make you a video to watch. And if you go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one right now, you can watch that video. It's titled, A Conversation with Kylie Minogue That Totally Never Happened. Kylie Minogue, what is this? What am I holding my hands right now? It's just a bag. Is it, Kylie? Is it just a bag? Because this bag looks a lot like my dog. I don't like your aggression right now. Kylie Minogue, did you turn Mr. Fluffles into a handbag? Did you? You are so aggressive. Oh, I'm aggressive? Really? This is the third pet of mine you repurposed to a fashion accessory this week. What's next, Kylie Minogue? Are you going to turn me into one of your fancy coats? But I don't like the look of you. Oh, what is it? Because I'm overweight? You know I'm insecure about that. You're a stick figure. Get over it. That is a lion. You know it. Can you express yourself differently? <laughs> it's over between us, Kylie. I'm leaving you, and I'm taking the dogs. <laughs> Goodbye. It's just a bag. You're a bag. Kylie Minogue, what a woman. Broke my heart. Now I would like to play you a song that means a lot to me. It's, it's actually a cover of an old American folk song by the Jonas Brothers. And it's called The Year 3000 by Busted. 
Really busted, not much has changed except you live underwater. That's quite a substantial change. And also, it's the year 3000. Your great great granddaughter isn't doing fine. She's been dead for 900 years. Sort it out, guys. You're listening to Tom Scott on BBC Radio 1. Why? Be because I'm because I'm, I'm kind of funny sometimes. Dan and Phil left me their show, and that was probably a really bad idea. Relatable comedy. Have you ever been listening to a rap song and realized that the beginning of it just sounds like a conversation on the phone that you're not really that interested in? I mean, really. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? Here we go. <laughs> okay, love you, Grandma. Here's Daft Punk. That was Daft Punk, and I'm Tom Scar, and there's a good chance you're still listening to me, which is... <laughs> What's wrong with you? Tom Scar, it's Tom Scar on Radio 1. Hey, thanks guys, that was pretty nice for one. Nobody likes you at Radio 1. And there it is. So Dan and Phil have left myself and a bunch of other YouTubers in charge of their show, which is a questionable decision. And they want us all to do challenges and send each other challenges. And they have decided to kick things off. Here's what they left for me. Hi Tom. Howdy. Dan and Phil here. As you are the first victim of the radio challenge, this is us officially challenging you to attempt to read the generic link whilst eating incredibly sour sweets. They're so sour they made my grandma cry. Do they literally? Yep. Good luck. It's kind of sad. Fantastic. So Dan and Phil have left me with this script to read here while I suck on their sour balls. Real mature, guys. Let's get to it. Ow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is Tom Scott. I love listening to the Internet Takeover on Radio 1. The show where <coughs> YouTube video makers take control of your life and do radio for an hour on Monday nights. Oh, my goodness. This is horrible. Created by the wonderful, intelligent, and suspiciously attractive Dan and Phil. Uh, masters of radio, internet, time, and space. Ha! <laughs> but they have really sour balls. For highlights and clips from other YouTubers and shows, make sure to check out the Radio 1 YouTube channel. <laughs> Coming up next week on the Internet Takeover is Jack and Dean, who are known for making internet funny and you where you make internet laughy and they'll be on next monday at 9 p.m <laughs> that was horrible <sighs> i would never do something like that to my friends jack and dean so the challenge i'm gonna leave them is to read alternating lines like run dmc <sighs> Goodness. Anyway, here's the song I think I'm going to end on. The question I have for you, though, is do you like trains? Because I do. I like trains. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. I've been Tom Scar on the Internet Takeover. Follow me on Twitter, maybe. My handle is at the Tom Scar. My YouTube is forward slash Tom Scar. Come on, I'm just, I'm promoting myself here a little bit. Come back next week for Jack and Dean. They're going to be pretty funny, and I'm Tom Scar. No, Tom Scar. Enough of this guy. Stop. Radio. Stop. It's done now, okay? Come back next week for Jack and Dean. They're gonna make some funny, you're gonna make some laughy. Coming up next is Hugh Stevens. Here's my chemical romance. Whoa.